Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the past perfect. All right, the past perfect sounds scary, but it's very, very simple, I promise. Let's begin with structure or the form of the past perfect. So what we have is subject, first of all. I, he, Jamie, okay, a subject to begin our clause. Next up, we have the word had, and it is always had. Because it's in the past, we do not conjugate it. I had, you had, he had, always had. And then, because it is a perfect tense, we have to use the past participle. So I had walked, you had talked, he had flown. So when do we use this? Now remember present perfect, we're talking about our experiences and we don't know the time. This one, past perfect, is very, very different. And I think it's quite simple when you get your head around it. We use past perfect to talk about the past of the past. Okay, think about that, the past of the past. So we've gone two steps backwards. For example, one step back, past simple, I went to school on Thursday. I went to school on Thursday. How do I talk about an event before that? Well, I use past perfect. I had eaten breakfast before I went to school on Thursday. Or I had eaten breakfast when I went to school on Thursday. Now, both things happened in the past. They happened last Thursday. I went to school, I ate breakfast. Which came first? It was the breakfast. How do we know? Because I used past perfect to tell you what came before by saying I had eaten breakfast when I went to school. Both in the past, but the thing that happened first is always the past perfect. Okay, another example. I had flown to Florida before the meeting. Okay, so before the meeting, which is in the past, I had flown, which means that I flew first, then had a meeting. One more example. He had walked to the bus stop when the bus came. Both in the past, bus came is past. But we know he walked first because I said he had walked. Okay, and that's it. It's as simple as that. So we use past perfect, especially for narrative tenses like telling stories. Okay, and it means the past of the past. It is the past of the past. Do not forget that. Keep practicing. I really hope it helped. Have a good one, and I will see you next time. <laughs>